All right, hello again, everyone. Um, my name is Kyle Monahan. This is part of the Deep Learning in ArcGIS Pro tutorial series that I'm doing. Um, here I am looking at Puerto Rico, uh, specifically the city of uh, Ponce. Um, I've extracted Sentinel-2 imagery uh, for, from ArcGIS. One thing to note, you know, this hasn't been atmospherically corrected. Uh, it clearly has some uh, differences between the images, which you would need to deal with. I, I can make a separate video on how to do that, but um, this is just an example. So I've extracted out this, uh, this data, and we want to start classifying it. We'd like to uh, detect, um, train our model um, to detect and classify these different Value. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on Sentinel-2 views just to make sure it's highlighted. Note that that changes what is available in ArcGIS Pro. I then I'm going to click on the Imagery tab. Then I'm going to go to Classification Tools and Training Samples Manager. You might wonder, how do I know to do this? Well, if you go to the Deep Learning in ArcGIS Pro um, uh, material here, which I can put in the... Uh, description for this video. I'll just start writing it here. Link to Deep Learning ArcGIS Pro training. Uh, and you go through here. It will actually tell you to do this, right? It will tell you to go through and, um, and uh, go through this. Now note, you available with the image analyst license, you do have to activate this license. So again, I'd have to go to project and um, activate this license here. You'll need to talk to your um, IT department if you don't have access to that license, you would, or, or Esri themselves uh, to try to get access to that. So this is an image analyst feature. You need to enable that first. Uh, before you can access some of these tools. But once you do, again, I went to cla Classification Tools and Training uh, Samples Manager. Uh, by default, it's going to use the NLCD 2011 uh, National Land Cover Data 2011 uh, for the US. Um, in my case, I'm going to start with this and start to do that. And then I want to maybe add a new class. So maybe in my case, I want to um, say add a new class and I really also care about the built-up environment so maybe this is urban area um, the value here maybe would be like and I would say I guess I need to give it a value probably some numeric maybe the color can be red it's going to be urban This is a general class to capture urban development. And click OK. So, um, you know, this is developed, and then I could have another class inside it that's urban development or something like that. So now I want to create these classes. How I do it is I select the class itself. And then I can create a polygon, a circle, or freehand. In my case, I'm going to use the polygon. And I'd like to select out key areas, making sure, and I can always zoom in here if I want. In my case, I really want to at first only select these areas. Now, I could be a lot more I could zoom in a lot more and be much more specific. But in this case, I just want to quickly go through what this would be like. In reality, I would also, I also might want to train on this darker color because this is also water. So I'll just quickly make something that does that as well. So now I have two examples of water. I might wish to Classify, so I'm going to do developed. I think this is fairly developed. So I'm just selecting these specific values here. I might want to be more careful if I'm doing this 
for real. This as well. One of the things I also might want to do is um, add a base map. So I want to go to map. Might want to add a satellite base map imagery. And um, one of the things that the benefits that you really have in ArcGIS Pro is that you can load in a lot of imagery. And I already showed you how to load in Sentinel. But um, some of this imagery is higher resolution than Sentinel. Sentinel's at 10 by 10. So one of the nice things is, even while this is on, I can zoom in and double check to see what this looks like today. To give a good feel and to, to try to get a good idea for what's actually there. It's a nice thing to know about. Right, so I'm going to zoom back out. Oop. If I ever make a mistake like that, I can always press the uh, the escape key to, to get out of that. And I'm going to zoom back in. So I've made two developed. I also want to um, include some forest, some forested material. And so maybe I, this seems like forest to me. Maybe also this area here around the river. And I also, in my case, I really care also about the deeply urban area, which is here. Um, and finally, I really care about cultivated lands. So I might go down here, take a look. Looks like a lot of these lands are cultivated. Now, in my case, the actual project that we're working on, we actually have a shapefile or a set of shapefiles that have has cultivated lands on it. You can tell these lands have a very, very characteristic um, kind of look to them. And again, maybe I want to do one more. One more here, like so. Okay. And I'd want to train a lot more if I was doing this and be a lot less general and granular um, than I'm doing right now. So uh, now what we've done here is we have uh, created our training samples. We'll want to save out this classification schema. So this is Puerto Rico example. Um, and we might say like modified. And we can say, yep, and some information on this. Wow, got a, it's kind of annoying. I'm actually not going to go to the end of that. I'll just say note modified with additional urban category to note the urban core. Now for output location, I can choose whichever output location I would like. In my case, I'm just going to choose input data here and um, that'll be a good location for me. So I've now saved that out. It's always important to save out your schema. Um, one thing to note, you can also generate it from a classified raster. So that's probably how I would move forward. Um, uh, to, to do this. So um, that is how to generate a training samples uh, image classification um, for use in deep learning. So uh, this is our first step. Next video, we'll go through how to create that deep learning model.